Today I'm going to show you how to easily create an OG framework in order to make OG patterns. And then I'm going to show you a trick on how to give your patterns a faux ECAT look. So I just threw a lot of terms at you, but let's go over them. An OG pattern is a pattern that has these continuous curves that go in and out um, in sort of an S pattern and then reflect upon each other to create this sort of curvy diamond repeat. Okay, so that's an OG pattern. And a lot of the times when you see um, OG patterns and also a lot of the times in home decor, you will see um, them being used with an ECAT technique. And an ECAT, I-K-A-T, is a weaving technique, a decorative weaving technique, where the warp and weft th threads are dyed before they're woven and they're sort of unevenly dyed and that gives it a look of um, sort of unevenness along the edges of any of the motifs, right? So this has a approximates um, a look that's sort of pro popular in home decor, which is that ECAT look. So I'm gonna show you some OG templates really easy way to make them and then a quick way to make your designs have an ecat look in adobe illustrator so first you can use any size artboard that you want this is six by five and the size of artboard you use is sort of going to make a difference as to the proportions of your ogs if you want a you know skinny og versus a really short fat wide og that's going to you know be affected by the choices that we make here but start with something simple you can do six by six and start with a line very simple next you're going to go to effect distort and transform zigzag and here you can play with the options, ridges, number, and size, but most importantly, you need to make sure you're changing this to smooth. So as you can see, if you change the side size, this is gonna be a thicker OG, a wider OG, I should say, and this is gonna be smaller, and we can kind of play around with that. But I'm going to keep it pretty large and sort of medium here. I'm going to say OK here, and then I'm going to go to Object, Expand Appearance, so that it's its own stroke. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to Object, Transform, and Reflect. Now I have a shortcut for this because I reflect things all the time, and mine is Alt, Control, R. I've set my own shortcut. But we're going to Reflect, Vertical, Copy. So now we have two copies that are mirror images. And all we have to do is drag it and make sure the points touch. And then to make it be ready for repeats, we're just going to adjust the size here. And I'm gonna bring this to the very edge of the artboard. And remember, this is where I said that the artboard is gonna determine the size of your OG because I'm going to just drag these. I'm really gonna approximate here. And if I wanted a fat, OG, then I would have a wider artboard, but this is where I am landing on this. So I'm really just lining it up and then I can check that this repeats and looks really good by um, duplicating it out. And I have a video to show you one of my favorite techniques of really quickly duplicating things to check your repeats. Um, I'll link that video in the description, but for now, we can just assume that this all kind of lines up and that is giving you a great framework for a OG pattern. So from here, you can draw in something of your own design, right? All kinds of shapes. And then you're just using this as a framework to set up your repeat, right? You're just following these, these shapes. And once you've done that, you have got yourself an OG pattern, right? This isn't a very interesting one, but you've got yourself an OG pattern once you fill everything in. Um, but 
I wanted to show you a little bit further, similar to what I have here. I want to show you how I created this pattern to give it that ECAT look because you can use the ECAT, this ECAT trick for other types of patterns as well. So going back to this, my first step is to take one of these sections and delete so that you have just one piece. And I'm going to select both the top points and I'm going to say control J, which joins. I'm going to say control J to join. So now this is all one solid shape. I'm going to turn it solid. Then my next step is to control copy, control F, and that pastes the exact same um, shape directly on top of the first one. The F is for front, right? Now I'm shrinking it down. I'm changing the proportions a little to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I'm also going to shrink this a little bit because in my original, I used this line as well. So now we've got the basic shape. And the next step is to go to Effect, Stylize, and Scribble. And here is where we can get that ECAD effect. Now I've already got my, um, my settings, you know, to make it look pretty good, but you're going to have to play around with yours. So angle, you're going to want it to be at 90 degrees to make a, a more realistic ECAT look because this is something that's woven. So it's either vertical or horizontal and it's usually vertical and then a little bit of variation. This is too much variation that is kind of unrealistic. So just a little unevenness. I keep it centered because that means that it's staying pretty close to this OG path. Um, if we want it to fit within the, the OG framework, then it needs to stay close to the path. You can adjust your width and, you know, I think where I had it was pretty good, which is why I kept it there, um, and make some different variations and spacing. So these are all the things you're going to have to adjust and sort of do it by eye. Spacing 0.01. Let's see how that looks. There we go. It gives a little something. And then I'm going to say OK. All right. Now we have the general shape, so we can delete this one. I'm going to group these two. And basically, again, we're just sort of repeating it, dragging it into the framework. Let me put this actually on another layer here so that the framework is underneath. And if I was trying to make this a little bit more interesting, if I was, you know, taking my time to submit this to a client, I would probably change the, the, the options a little bit for each of these to have a little bit different, um, you know, line work so that it looks a little bit more realistic. It's not all exactly the same, uh, but for these purposes, we can just repeat this here. And then we're going to take this, we need one more, put that approximately right there. And then we're going to put this here. And then to make it interesting, I'm going to keeping this second set all selected, I'm going to double click my recolor and I'm just going to drag this here so that it does an opposite color effect, right? So that's making it a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to go back to these lines here, I'm going to select this to give it to give this outline here and change the colors of this to I guess we're going to do a dark brown maybe. And now again, I'm going to do this scribble technique, but I'm going to do it with one line first so that I can kind of see what's happening because I need to change the, the um, options. So this actually doesn't look too bad, but I would probably want, so that's if I want a really tight line, maybe I'm going to say 0.02. Okay. So I'm going to stick with that. And then to repeat that for all of them, I'm going to select the other, oh, sorry. I'm going to select the rest of these 
and then effect apply scribble is going to do the exact same thing. All right. Um, so there we go. And then pretty much this is five inches across. And so I can, you know, to make sure that this actually repeats, I can select this and, and push enter horizontal five inches. But like I said, I actually have a faster method for this in another video, but let's just say five inches and then copy. And so now we know that this is exactly lining up on the artboard and I can do the same for this and put in a background color, object, arrange, send to the back. I don't think we should do pink. I think we should do a nice cream color here. And that actually needs to go on the very back layer because I still had that line there. So the color needs some work. This is not great, but you get the idea. So that is the way you can make an, a really quick eCat effect in Adobe Illustrator. And um, more importantly, it's how you can how you can set up an OG framework for your repeats. So I hope you found that helpful. If so, let me know, put, put in the comments if that was helpful for you. Um, if you've done any OG patterns, I would love to know. It's one of my favorites. I don't do it very often, but it's one of the cooler pattern types out there. So I hope you get a chance to experiment with it.